Watch the complete playlist on the app Pions. Download the app now. A battery of EMF 10 volt, which is connected here. Two resistance as shown in the figure. Find the potential drop, okay, between points A and B. Potential difference between points A and B. Okay. So let's first simplify it as usual. So one ohm and this three ohm, okay, the upper branch that will form here. Uh, what is the equivalent in series? 3 plus 1, which will be 4. So this will be our 4 ohm, correct? And the lower branch, 3 plus 1, that will be 4 ohm. Then this will be our 3 ohm. And that is connected here to a 10 volt battery. As simple as that. Be very careful here. This is quite important question. Now 4 and 4. When you find the equivalent of these 4 and this 4 parallel, what will you get? You will get 2 ohm. That is obvious. Why 2 ohm? Because 4 and 4 in parallel, okay, the equivalent has to be 2. You can simply solve it and check. This 3 and this 2 will give you in series 5 ohm. And if R equivalent is equals to 3 plus 2, which is equals to 5 ohm, and voltage here is 10 volt, the current will be equals to 10 by 5, which is equals to 2 ampere. Now here the concept will start. So focus very carefully. So 2 ampere of current is coming from this battery. And this 2 ampere will go across this 3 ohm and across this 2 ohm. Correct? So 2 ampere and 3 ohm. What will be the voltage? Sir, voltage across this 3 ohm has to be I into R. So I into R, which is 6 volt. Voltage across this 2 ohm will be I into R, which is 4 volt. Let's cross check if our answer is correct. Yes, 6 plus 4 is 10 and the battery is also 10 volt. So 6 volt is split over here and 4 volt is split over here. Let's go into our real problem so basically 6 volt is eaten up here and remaining 4 volt is going in the upper branch let's call it as ab so what's the voltage across ab let me write here voltage vab is equals to 4 volt and what is our voltage across cd our oh sorry a and b is taken already let's take it here as uh, pq that will be better so voltage vpq is how much our VPQ is 4 volt, right? And what is the voltage across RS? Sir, voltage VRS is also 4 volt. Why it is same? Because they both are in parallel. Clear? If they are in parallel, the voltage will remain same. Sir, so if you are saying that voltage across PQ is 4 volt, can I say that voltage across this 1 ohm is also 4 volt and 3 ohm is also 4, 4 volt? No, no. They are in series. The whole branch has 4 volt. That doesn't mean that this 1 and this 3 will have 4 volt. Why? Because they are in series and the 4 volt will again get splitted. So be very careful with that. We'll talk about that within a minute. Clear? So 2 ampere current is coming here. 2 ampere. And this 2 ampere is going here. Okay. So 2 ampere is going here. Be very careful. If the 2 ampere current is going here, if you look at the upper branch and the lower branch, what is the upper branch resistance? 4 ohm. And what is the lower branch? 4 ohm. So what should be the current going in the upper branch? 1 ampere. And the lower branch? Again 1 ampere. Sir, why it should be 1, 1? Because the total resistance of upper and the lower branch is same. So current will split. Why current will split, sir? Because they are in parallel. So 1 ampere is going across this 1 ampere is going across this because they both are in series. 1 ampere is going across this and 1 ampere is going across this. I hope this is clear. Let me repeat the whole scenario once again. We have a 10 volt battery out of which 6 volt is splitted across 3 ohm and 4 volt is splitted across this huge branch. And this battery is giving a current of 2 ampere out of which 2 ampere is going across this 3 ohm and this whole branch should have a current of 2 ampere. You can check that. 1 ampere is going upper 1. It will go like this and it will go to Q and come towards this point and this is 1 ampere coming from here 
and one ampere coming from down one and one it will again give you two and it will go back to the battery and our battery is giving two ampere current that satisfies our condition right great so voltage vpq is four volt what is our voltage vpa be very careful now voltage across our vpa will be current in that across vpa into the resistance which is lying across vpa okay sorry rpa so what is the current across that pa sir one ampere and what is the resistance across that one ohm so one into one one volt okay great okay let me solve it a few more things so what is our voltage across sir then vaq vaq will be equals to current i into resistance across aq so current is still one because they both are in series but r aq is three so this will be one into three three volt if you add this one and three what you are getting 4 volt and is it satisfying this vpq yes so which means we have found it correctly so what is our voltage across vpa 1 volt vaq 3 volt similarly if you find voltage across vrb that will be current into resistance across rb and what is our current sir 1 and what is our resistance 3 ohm so 1 into 3 3 volts Similarly, voltage VBS will be current into resistance across BS. What is the current, sir? 1. And resistance across BS? 1. So, 1. If you add this, 3 volt and 1 volt, again, 4 volt. So, satisfying? Yes. Everything is going perfectly fine till now. But what they have asked is, what is the potential difference between point A and point B? Now, listen very carefully. VPA, this point is our common. Look at this point. This is our common point. I am putting here the mouse pointer. This point is common to these two. So, VPA is same as this point and that point potential difference. Okay. And because P and R is the same wire. Correct. So, let's call it as VPA is how much we got? 1 volt. Let me remove everything which is not necessary here so this is not required for solution of potential difference there and uh, we don't require this vbs also okay so vpa is one volt and v vpa will be what va minus vp correct and v rp rp let me call it as or let's keep it as r b only so rb will be 3 volt correct so if you subtract both vpa will be va minus vp and this will be vb minus vr again i am repeating since p and r at the same wire so the potential across vp and vr will be same clear it is so what will be our potential difference between point a and point b VA minus VB. Correct? So, what will you, how will you get VA minus VB? You will get VA minus VB by simply VPA minus VRB. You can subtract it. When you subtract it, you will see that this VP and VR will cancel out and you will be left with VA and VB. Why VP and VR will cancel out? Again, I am saying this is the same wire, so same potential. Correct? So, VPA is 1 volt minus 3 volt. So, answer is if you find magnitude, it will be 2 volt, otherwise minus 2 volt. That's our complete answer to this question. Yeah, if you got 2 volt, that is fine. You can write the final result in terms of potential difference VAB in magnitude. You can keep it as 2 volt. So, it's just a matter of reference. Okay, VA minus VB or VB minus VA. So, better you keep it in modulus. So, our final answer is 2 volt. That Watch the complete playlist on the app Pions. Download the app now.